Hey guys, it's Ornlu, and this past Friday, the devs actually snuck in a uh, hotfix build on the pup uh, for the April 2023 big patch. Now, there are some bug fixes here that are really helpful, uh, especially the uh, villager TC garrison bug, so that is going to be good. But what I really want to take a look on in a bit of a dive today is the changes to organ guns, which, as we saw through my testing, and uh, Spirit of Law did a video on it as well, uh, the new organ guns are largely underwhelming. Well, maybe this is people having nostalgia for the old organ guns, which are really, I think, too strong, but also they weren't actually working as intended. So let's take a look at these specific changes. Fix an issue where organ guns would largely ignore hill bonuses and penalties. Uh, fix an issue where converted elite organ guns would deal the damage of unupgraded organ guns. Okay, that one doesn't really matter too much. Fixed an issue where organ gun missed shots would only deal half damage instead of the intended full damage. Considering that organ guns have a base accuracy of zero, it means that all of the extra projectiles are dealing half damage, which is not supposed to be the case. They're supposed to deal all of their damage across all, uh, any, all the targets that they actually hit. Uh, fixed an issue that prevented organ gun projectiles from dispersing properly. Fixed an issue that caused organ gun projectiles to pass between units without hitting them and increase the projectile dispersion from 0.25 to 0.6. So you can think of this as like the cone in which the organ gun pellets will hit. Now, something that I noticed when I was doing my testing before is that organ guns, even though they are supposed to be good against clumped up units, the actual spread was fairly narrow. So they'd have to be really, really clumped up to feel like the sort of shotgun artillery things they're supposed to be. So that is now much wider. Uh, reduce the number of projectiles from 6 to 5 and then 7 to 6. This is probably to compensate for the other kind of buffs that they're sneaking in. Uh, they also gave, gave organ guns plus 1 damage versus skirmishers, a matchup that was very, very slow before. And so let's go ahead into the editor on this pup and see exactly how these changes play out. All right, we're just going to do some quick tests here, um, but we're going to start with just... 10 organ guns versus 15 swordsmen, full castle age upgrades for each. Now, we'll have to actually play this out fully to see what the best way of microing is. But as you can see, these 10 organ guns absolutely wrecked the swordsmen with gambesons. Uh, but I would definitely recommend using stop micro, as that'll have the organ gun bullets spread out even more than they already uh, did. But yeah, I didn't lose a single organ gun, it's just like a tiny bit of micro. And so, yeah, again, 10 organ guns versus 15 fully upgraded Castle Age Longswordsmen easily goes to the organ guns. All right, test number two, 10 organ guns versus 10 knights. Now this still should be a pretty bad matchup. This still should be a pretty bad matchup. I haven't done any of these tests ahead of time. This still should be a pretty bad matchup. Okay. Um... Um... Uh, well, I lost half the organ guns, at least. If I had any sort of, like, pikeman meat shield in front, that would still be pretty insane, though. And again, those knights had full upgrades. They had bloodlines, husbandry, plus two, plus two. And organ guns uh, benefit from no upgrades in the Castle Age, so... Huh. Okay. Now the units starting to look a lot better when the projectiles are actually dealing all of the intended damage. Alright, for the next couple tests, we're actually going to be playing as the uh, the not organ gun unit, because with this with the 15 crossbowmen here, we can use a little bit of micro against the organ guns, who, when they're fighting ranged units, are probably going to be the ones just kind of firing away, and it's down to the ranged unit player to use a little bit of micro. Uh, okay, yeah, oh, I got one organ gun, guys. I know I don't have great micro, but, uh, yeah, no, that don't fight organ guns with archers in Castle Age. I know it says Imperial Age here, but that's just because I have Castle Age upgrades. All right, let's see how good the anti-skirmisher damage is, because the organ guns now have pretty low pierce damage, but they get that one extra damage versus skirmishers. So this is going to be 20 fully upgraded Castle Age skirmishers versus the 10 organ guns. Uh, trying to focus fire here. We're only dealing one damage, which is a little painful. Now, it does take the organ guns at least a little bit of time to take out the skirmishers, but as you can see, like, they'll, they'll still kill them pretty dead. I... To be fair, they did about as well as the archers, so I guess we can say that for them. 
Now, if you're worried that organ guns now seem like they kill everything, which is kind of true with uh, infantry archers and cavalry, you should be able to see here that they're still going to be fairly bad against mangonels. Well, that was three mangonels versus ten organ guns, and at least most of the organ guns ended up dying there. So you add in those with a few redemption monks, uh, things are going to be looking much better. Alright, so also, if you look at buildings, this should be a, a big change from the previous patch. And this is still going to be quite similar to what you'll experience on the live. In fact, it should be exactly the same. You can see that if you're worried about, okay, I'm getting castle drop working gunned on arena all the time. As you can see here, they're still barely scratching this gate. And they definitely shouldn't be doing any better versus this barracks. Very, very low damage versus buildings. I mean, it's not completely hopeless, but this is 10 organ guns thwacking away at this uh, barracks, and it's going to take a, a good long while to go down. So, monks with redemption, mangonels, and, of course, just buildings are going to be probably your best bet against the new organ guns, whether they be in Castle Age or Imperial Age. All right, just to round out our tests, we're going to try it against uh, post-Imperial Age. So the organ guns are going to be fully upgraded. That includes the Elite upgrade, Siege Engineers for some extra range, and then Archibus for uh, greater accuracy against moving targets. And then we're just going to be going up against the, basically the same stuff as before. It's just now everyone's with full post-imp upgrades. So starting things off, uh, 10 Elite Organ Guns versus 15 Champions. The Champions do have Gambesons because they're Franks and they're fully upgraded. Again, I would, in general, recommend using Stop Micro. Which, in case you don't know, is literally just hitting the Stop button. Okay, so Imperial Age, it doesn't seem maybe quite as good. Uh, you do get an extra projectile now with uh, Elite. Which, actually, no, you did that on the live version. But yeah, I did lose two organ guns here. Of course, my micro wasn't that great. You know, if you're better, if you have better micro than me, you can probably get away without losing any. And that's 10 elite organ guns versus 15 champions. Uh, organ guns, they're not going to be hand cannoneer good. Uh, maybe as the numbers increase, you might even be better than hand cannoneers. But Portuguese hand cannoneers still feel like they'll have a place in the game for sure. I wish in the scenario editor they had it so you didn't... Like, I, I put it post-imp as Chinese. I should be able to select Cavalier, because that's all Chinese have, but I still need to go to Paladin and just wait for it to go to Cavalier in-game. Devs, if you're listening, let me let me make my Cavaliers for civs that don't have Paladin and other stuff. Anyway, the date. Uh, we're going to be doing the 10 Elite Organ Guns versus 10. These are actually going to... 8 actual Cavaliers! We can try Paladins if the fight goes... Uh, actually pretty good for us. But as stuff increases in pierce armor, you guys can see, the organ guns will suddenly be doing a lot worse. And the pierce armor scales up quite a bit in the later stages of the game. So, yeah, in Imperial Age, even just regular Cavalier are going to be able to chase down the organ guns reasonably well. So it's going to be down to the Portuguese player to be able to have some uh, halberdiers or something like that in front. That said, a lot of these guys are pretty low. So maybe with a little bit of better micro, you can... Uh, Get a better result, but still, uh, if the Cavalier are still beating the Organ Guns, you can just imagine that the Paladins are going to be absolutely crushing them, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Alright, so again, switching ourselves around to be the Archer player versus the Organ Guns, uh, we'll have to see if these guys fare any better than they do in the Castle Age. 15 Arbs fully upgraded. Yeah, you're still doing about as bad. We got another, like, one organ gun, but it, it's a pretty horrible matchup for Arbalests. Like, these new organ guns do way better against archers than even the old organ guns did. Now, that is pretty darn one-sided. Alright, same deal. 20 skirmishers versus 10 elite organ guns. I don't know if spreading these guys out or trying to do so is actually going to be all that effective. Again, my micro isn't that good, but yeah, that extra damage that organ guns get to deal versus the skirmishers really helps them just chew through those guys. All right, final test of this little video. Uh, it is going to be uh, onagers versus the organ guns. I know they look like siege onagers, but that's just DE things. They're going to be franks. They're going to be regular onagers with siege engineers, and uh, we'll have to see how they do. I guess we could test siege onagers if this isn't as uh, one-sided a fight. Okay, that's actually a lot better for the organ guns than I thought. Uh, do you actually need Siege Onager to deal with these guys? 
What if I just switch myself over to Sicilians? I imagine the Siege Onagers should flatten them pretty darn well. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, if you need to counter organ guns, just get some Siege Onagers. All you need to do. But yeah, that obviously makes a huge, huge difference in that fight. Just kidding, guys. I forgot I wanted to test them versus Hussars. So yeah, here, 10 Elite Organ Guns versus 15 Generic Fully Upgraded Hussars. Mm. They're certainly going to be pretty cost efficient against them. A lot of these Hussars are on fairly low HP, but yeah, if you're struggling for gold and if the organ guns don't have a meat shield, I'm sure you can pretty cost efficiently spam Hussars at them. Okay, for real, that is going to be it uh, for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you think of the new and improved organ guns, because they're definitely improved as to what they are on the live version. Uh, how do you see them fitting into the game? Are we just going to see them versus massed up infantry units, or are we still going to see them in sort of their classic role of just sort of a, a one unit kills all sort of thing? And lastly, I do want to give an extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters with Anonymous and Tristan in the Great Wolf tier, and then Carolyn, Donnie, Elvenor, Ryru, and Tanduri in the Dire Wolf tier. Thank you all so much, guys, and I'll see you all next time.